Hey guys, it's Oyarnit here again with a, another Let's Try for the first time in a long damn while. And as you obviously notice, I have a guest with me today. This is my friend uh, Nika Barashta. Uh, that's what you go by online. You can tell them your real first name if you want to. Or I can always give them my Tumblr, which is Floating Diary Shit Journal. Let's just go with Nika then. <laughs> okay, so here's my friend Nika. And for those of you who heard my uh, audition to be on Constructor Deconstruction, she's the friend I've had since I was 11. Alright, but uh, this Let's Try, we are doing something a little different. We're going to be trying exotic meat jerky. And let's see, the ones we have are, we have two different elk, kangaroo, or what, that was a bison one, but there is two different elk ones. Wild boar. And alligator. And there is a bison one. And full disclosure, I have actually had bison meat before. I've had it in a burger. Oh my goodness, that stuff's amazing. So, what should we go for first with this? I said alphabetical order. Okay, so, doing the alligator jerky first. And this is a, a Cajun recipe, so it's probably going to be pretty spicy. Yeah. Alright, so first things first, because we must always copy the Brad Jones method. We get it open, and we give it a whiff. You can whiff all you want. <laughs> well, it definitely smells pretty spicy. It smells like jerky. Yeah, it does smell like just plain jerky. I'm not actually going to chew it until you got a bite. Alright. It's kind of fishy. I'm not getting much spice, but texture-wise, it's very much like fish. Yeah. Very much oh, like God. Fish. It tastes like fish! Where the hell's my drink? Perry's hiding it. Ugh. Oh, God. Okay, alligator meat, not for me. <laughs> yeah. Nika don't like fish unless it's tuna. Or calamari. Yeah. Although that's a cephalopod. Beside the point. It's still from the ocean. Yeah. It's from the water. It counts. Alright, so next up... Would be the bison? Yeah, bison. A, B. Yeah. And then we do the two different elk, then kangaroo, and then wild boar last. I think the wild boar would probably taste like pig. Yeah, well, it's a pepperoni flavor, so it'll probably just taste like a pepperoni stick. Maybe. And the uh, flavor with the uh, bison jerky here is uh, black pepper. So it'll probably just taste like your standard black pepper jerky. Because bison meat is very beefy, obviously. I mean, it's basically like big wild cow. Oh, yeah, that smells like Jacqueline's black pepper jerky. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it's definitely got jerky texture. Okay, that one's pretty good. A little heavy on the pepper. Mm -hmm. You can't really taste the bison. Oh wait, there it is. You have to chew a bit to get the bison. But you get the you get hit with the pepper first, and then you can actually taste the meat. That one's good. That one is definitely. Uh, like, I paid ten dollars for these six sticks. They were um. We found them at a local flea market. They were two dollars each, or three for five. Yeah, I don't taste the bison. You just taste the pepper. Just taste the pepper and the jerky texture. Yeah. At least texture-wise, it's good. Yeah, but that alligator is just. <laughs> yeah. Okay, which one of the elks should we go with? Original recipe or honey barbecue? Again, alphabetical order. So honey barbecue. <laughs> and we are going to finish these. Although I think the alligator will feed to the cats. Or maybe see if the hubby wants to try it. Maybe the hubby will like it. Yeah, if the hubby likes it, the hubby can have all he wants. Okay. It smells like... That one just smells like beef jerky once again. Yeah. Oh, a lot easier bite into that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Got caught my teeth. Mm. Mm. The honey barbecue part's really good. It just tastes like a honey barbecue beef jerky. 
That's kind of disappointing. I can't, I've had, I've tasted elk before. I can't taste any elk. It just tastes like honey barbecue beef jerky. Mm-hmm. It's good, though. 10 to 10. We'll try again. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now the original. I need to drink first. Yeah, because that honey barbecue is kind of strong. Mm-hmm. Tasty, though. Okay, next up we have original recipe, elk. I don't know what the original recipe would be. This one's definitely more jerky texture. Like the one we just tried, it's about the texture of a Slim Jim without all that grease. Yeah, it's the it's cylinder. Yeah. Shape. yeah. See, for, here's the see cylinder. Like a Slim Jim, although without all that greasiness. And then jerky. Oh, that, smells, that almost smells like teriyaki. Uh-uh. Foresty. Well, it hopefully, has a forest smell to it. Hopefully this one will be nice and gamey. Okay. I can taste elk with this one. Elk is just kind of like... Tastes like a cow that lived in the woods. That's the best way I can think to describe it. No. Or like a cow and a deer got together and had a baby. Which, if there were some venison ones, like, I would definitely be trying that. But, I fucking love venison anyway. Oh, you're allowed to cuss on these, by the way. Ah. Yeah. I did warn her beforehand she can cuss. Nope. So you can say the alligator tasted like shit if you want to. It, no, it didn't taste like shit, it just didn't taste it like fish. Ugh. So, for you personally, it was kind of shitty. Yeah, it was kind of shitty. Like, I could probably see myself eating that no problem if I was drunk. I don't know, maybe if I ever meet Gomer, bring a stick of... Uh. Gomer, if you and me ever meet up at MAGFest, I'm going to buy sticks of this stuff and make you try the alligator one, because you're from Florida. You have to deal with those fuckers. You're a little bit of revenge. Eat that family. Okay. Yeah, but here we have the, oh, and some, some of these have other meats added to them, I guess, to help with the texture, and the kangaroo has some pork added to it, just for real quick to go back on these. Um, the alligator had pork added to it to help with, I guess they're just to help hold them together. And looks, um, kind of makes you kind of question whether or not they're actually just pork flavored. Well, with this one, I definitely tasted more elk than anything. It does have some pork added. The honey barbecue one had some beef added. And the bison... Well, it makes sense to add the beef to bison. Okay, but... <laughs> oh, oh, come on! <laughs> no! This smells like cat piss! <laughs> it does, but... It smells like <laughs> Well, good Let's Try video has to have something nasty in it, so if this is our nasty, so be it. Aww, I'm a little bad for Kanga. Kanga smells like cat piss. Yeah, sorry, Rue, we're eating your mom. Okay. Where the. This one I have to spit out. I have, I make it a point to force myself to eat it. You can spit it out if you want to. Oh, that tasted like bad cafeteria food. Uh uh. It tasted like this. To me, it tasted like a uh, hot dog that just you know you shouldn't eat it, but you try a bite anyway. <laughs> Okay. Okay, well, kangaroo, not, do not recommend kangaroo. Well, at least in jerky form. Maybe it would be better, like, actual, like, grilled kangaroo or something. It smells like piss. It tastes like piss. That's just the jerky form of it. And the guy said that the kangaroo was the most popular! <laughs> okay. Last up, here we have the wild boar pepperoni stick. I have a feeling this is just going to taste like a Slim Jim. 
I'm hoping I'm right. I'm hoping we're ending on a tasty one. If not, we could always each have another bite of the bison because that bison was damn good. Yeah, the bison was good. It smells like pepperoni. Yeah, not pepperoni. Okay, not a very big fan of pepperoni. I bet you're a bigger fan of pepperoni than you're a catfish. Uh huh. Mm. It's got more of that grease like what you expect from a Slim Jim. It does. Just tastes like pepperoni. Tastes like a Slim Jim. Yeah, just not as much grease as a Slim Jim, but. Okay, for last tries, which one do you want to do for last try's sake? Bison. <laughs> one other bite of the sorry. bison. A bison's gotta get rid of that. Kangaroo. I'm wanting another bite of the elk. Yep, we're not going back to the alligator or that kangaroo. Uh -uh. Mm. But I would say for best, it's a tie between the uh, black pepper bison and the um, original recipe elk. Mm. They're both pretty damn good. So. Um, this brand is Webbs. Don't get the kangaroo. Yeah, don't get the kangaroo. And they are local, but, um, they do have a website here where I guess you can order the jerky from. In case you're interested, you know, why not promote a local business? Uh, -huh. uh it's WebbsButcherBlock.com. Uh, when I post this to my Tumblr, I will put the website in the, uh, under the video description there for you guys. And it's pretty well spelled, well, it's, Web with two D's or B's, blah, B. It's <laughs> yeah, webs butcherblock.com. All is one word. Web is spelled with two B's. In case you know, you want to try it. Don't get the kangaroo. I'm telling you, don't kill it. Yeah, go for the bison or the elk. Those are pretty good. Although, if you're somebody who actually likes alligator, I guess go for the alligator. If you actually do like it, alright, okay, I gotta have another bite of the bison. <laughs> it's good, I want another bite. Okay. Another bite of the elk? No, I'm good. Another kind of barbecue? Yeah, I'll try that one. Give that one another shot? Yep. Full disclosure, she's not the biggest fan of jerky. She just agreed to do this with me because she's a trooper. No, I'm tasting the honey barbecue. Is it good honey barbecue? It's good honey barbecue, but I'm tasting the honey barbecue. Well, at least since that's all you're tasting, it's a good one. Well, I think this went over well. We only had one spit out. Ah. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that kangaroo was not good. I'm okay. going to have to figure out some way to use it up, though, because I hate to waste um, $2. See if with... the cats like it. Yeah. Her... <laughs> Your cats probably won't because they don't like human Her cats are weird. They don't like human food. Or they turn. They, they turn their noses up at it. The youngest one, Willie, canned cat food, but that's about as close to human food as they get. So. Y'all have a great day. Enjoy. Yes. Everybody have a great evening, day, morning. Whenever you're watching this, I hope that the rest of your day from that point on is great, and we will see you later.